Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to those who are new. So for today's video, I will be doing this um, video I've been wanting to do and this is 5 fragrances for life. So lately I've been seeing this um, 5 fragrances, 5 designer fragrances and 5 niche fragrances to keep. This tag is created by Moon's Perfume and since I don't have enough um, niche fragrances to choose 5, so I'm going to do a little bit of different version of it and this is going to be five designer fragrances and five celebrity fragrances to keep in my collection. So this video is quite challenging to me which is which makes it fun. I don't even have a huge collection but it's kind of hard for me to choose just five. Because for me I want to keep all my collection even those that I don't wear um, often. So I'm going to do the celebrity fragrances first. So first, if this is in no particular order, and this one is Mariah Carey's M. So I did just acquired this perfume this year, so this is quite new in my collection, but I'm actually hooked. Every time I wear this perfume, I get to know it, I get to enjoy the perfume well, compared to the first one, first time that I got it. This is it isn't a love at first sniff, though I like it the first time, but... It just gets deeper. I like it more every time I wear it. So this is the bottle. It, I'm not really that much fan of the bottle. Although this one is the butterfly here is really cute. Because I find the scent not did not match with the bottle. The perfume is really mysterious. It's I would say it's dark. It's dark and it's sweet. So this one, you got your marshmallow in here. So at first, I was expecting this to be a regular gourmand celebrity fragrance, especially when I saw that there is a marshmallow. But it isn't what I expected, which actually surprised me. So this one, at first, I kind of hard, I kind, it's kind of hard to detect the marshmallow because it's not the one that I'm expecting, the kind of marshmallow scent that I'm expecting. This one is mysterious. It's dark. It's smoky. I like the incense and the marshmallow together in here. Reminds me of a bonfire near the beach in the cold night. So this one, it has marshmallow, it has the gardenia, your amber, the incense, patchouli. But the patchouli isn't that strong in this perfume, which I like. Because I don't like that straight or strong patchouli in a perfume. So this one is a smoky, sweet scent, which I like. I find it dark and mysterious. This marshmallow in here is like a burnt marshmallow. I find this one sophisticated, mature, classy scent for a celebrity fragrance. So I would really definitely want to keep this one in my collection. So next celebrity fragrance that I would definitely keep in my collection is this Love by Sofia Vergara. So I like the bottle. I like the minimalist, elegant look in there. So this one is another sweet, but I would say sophisticated and sexy. So this one, you have your coffee, praline, vanilla, all delicious notes that I like. It makes it smells like a creamy coffee. And for some reason, I'm getting a berry um, scent in the background, though it's, though it's not listed in the note. It's like a creamy coffee with a bit of vanilla in there and berries in the background. It's really delicious. I find this one a very seductive scent. So next is the Britney Spears um, perfume. Britney has a lot of nice um, fragrances in her line, a lot that I haven't tried yet, but for those that I have in my collection, this is my favorite that I would definitely keep. This one is Midnight Fantasy. So this one is quite nostalgic to me as this is one of my first celebrity fragrance. So another reason why I'm keeping this. So this one is a strong plummy raspberry scent. It also has some floral scent, vanilla in there, which I'm not really getting. This is more of a fruity scent to me, a fresh plummy scent. It has a shampoo vibe. This one I like spraying on my hair. So one of the perfumes that giving me a flirty, youthful vibe. This one also is really long-lasting. This is one of my most long-lasting perfume. Especially if I put, I spray it on my hair, it lasts like until the next day. So next one is Jessica Simpson's Fancy. So this one I love. I love the caramel, the vanilla, and the almond in there. Lately, I'm loving almond scent. This is one of those almond scents that I could not resist. I really love it. One of my most favorite gourmand. I just love the delicious caramel in there plus the almonds. And also the only, as I can remember, celebrity fragrance that I got compliment with. I can still remember when a woman approached me and she is um, about middle age and she looks really classy. She looks gorgeous. And then she said to me what perfume I'm using because she really likes it. And I told her it's um, fancy and she was 
she has no idea i know she does not recognize it and then i told her it's by jessica simpson and the more she got confused she has no idea who jessica simpson is so i told her um, it's a celebrity fragrance just an affordable perfume that i got from a from the shop and she says like no it's okay it doesn't matter if it's pricey or it's cheap the smells is really good she said she really likes it and she want to check it out as well and i agree with her that price doesn't matter as long as the perfume smells nice and this one i would say doesn't really smell cheap at all and aside from the scent performance is also really good this lasts long on me as well one of my long lasting celebrity fragrance so last but not the least is one of my favorite if you've been watching my videos i keep um, featuring this one already and this is Rihanna's Crush. This one is another nostalgic. Every time I smell this one, it smells like the first time. It um, feels like the first time. This is a love at first sniff and until now, I'm still so in love with this perfume. So this is one of my uh, first celebrity fragrance as well together with the Britney Spears one. And this is the time when I only have about less than five perfume and I wore this every single day. This is like my all occasion perfume. Um, everyday um, work perfume when I go to an occasion go shopping it's like that time I don't care if this perfume is for this for work or for occasion for me if I like perfume I wear it wherever I go and this is this perfume that I keep wearing each time that time this one I find this one unique among all my fragrances uh, celebrity fragrances this one is sweet floral citrusy scent very fresh very clean I love wearing this especially on summer and i find this one also not a non-offensive perfume as well as i've mentioned very clean so i think it's also a good work perfume i would also love to wear this one on occasion during daytime daytime um occasion kind of perfume and even this is the summer scent i would say i as i've mentioned i wear this one all year round before and i don't have problem wearing it the performance is really great and very long lasting on me as well so those are my five celebrity perfumes for life now we're gonna move on on our designer five designer fragrances so again in no particular order first one is ysl's black opium so this one is really really becoming a staple in my collection so even if i'm going to run out of this i'm going to buy another bottle because i really love this one i find this one unique in my collection unique from every fragrance that i've sampled this one is really long lasting as well especially on your clothes i spray this one on my clothes or in my coat and after a few days when i get back it gives me that that light creamy delicious scent i really love it it's like heavenly to me i never have that dry down on any other of my fragrances i do have fragrances that have delicious chocolatey or vanilla sweet gourmand dry down but this one is different i'm getting a little creamy slight creamy milky scent in this one so next is pink sugar so this one is i just love the scent this is one of my this is my first gourmand scent ever that what that time i was just starting my perfume collection so some of these perfumes that i've mentioned now Aside from their scent, I chose them because they have some, they give me some nostalgia effects. So they do have their backstory. Some of them are my first fragrances, so they are quite closer to me. So they are my perfumes for life and a staple in my collection. So when they run out, I would need to get again another bottle. So this one is surprising, which is also amazing that um, I'm getting different feedback from different people, which makes perfume more fun because it has different effect on each person um this one i'm getting this the name itself pink sugar the one i'm getting here is the burnt sugar it's literally sugar so the opening i'm liking it a lot it has that orangey scent in there citrus i'm getting the orange scent and then that burnt sugar in there there's a caramel in the background but i'm not getting it that much it's mostly literal pink sugar i mean sugar in here it also reminds me the sweetness in here of like a cookie or um, a cookie, a cupcake, or a chocolate, and an orange. The orange in here also remind me of um, chocolate cookie or chocolate biscuit with an orange feeling in there. This one is delicious. Always reminds me of cupcake. I'm getting compliments on this one. It smells delicious. It smells like cupcake. It smells like biscuit perfume. I would really say a, literally a gourmand. It would smell like a food on this one, which I like. I find it unique. And my favorite winter scent as well this was when i was just starting my collection this was my everyday um winter scent so this is warm this is cozy reminds me of christmas although christmas here is summer but 
this one it gives me that picture of like a cold christmas inside your house cozy you're cooking those gingerbread cookies plus warm chocolate drink this is giving me that vibe and for the price it's really affordable and i just got this one for about 30 dollars but the performance is really impressive projection is good lasting power lasts really more than eight hours on me so next is my chance chanel chance so this one is one of my staple in my collection so this is like my pick me up perfume it's like my best friend like whenever i cannot decide okay she's the one that i get i wore this one the whole um any time of the year as i mentioned this is my everyday go-to perfume even if it's this is more of like a summer perfume to me spring summer but if i'm in the mood even winter fall i'm going to wear this one so i love the grapefruit in here it's such a feminine floral scent to me it's very soft it's girly it's very refined remind me of like a refined like a composed like put together young woman yet she's carefree joyful this is i call me a pleasant cheerful perfume something that you will never dislike so the only con and this the only thing about this fragrance is it does not um about five hours on it isn't that long lasting knowing for the price but for the scent i do love this perfume so next is another perfume close to me and this is giorgio armani's aqua di gioia so this is my favorite summer scent it's giving that exotic playful vibe a carefree woman yet strong this one also is really fresh minty i would say this is like the literally fresh a blast of mint, a blast of freshness this is something that i want to wear on a summer or on a hot day something that will freshen me up something that's giving me that cooling effect so this one is citrusy minty spicy as well the pepper and the pink pepper in there is make, making this one spicy but i like this one it's spicy yet cool not spicy warm scent and then the dry down is sweet it's sugary sweet on me and a little bit of peony in there it becomes really feminine on the dry down so last one and definitely not the least is michael kors starlight shimmer so this perfume is um one of the newest addition on my perfumes as well i got this one a few months ago this is a gift from my husband so that's another reason why i like this perfume but aside from that is the scent this one is vanilla rose smoky scent i don't know why i'm getting i keep getting smoky scent in here although what's strange is the notes in here is just amber rose and saffron it took me a while to get the rose in here because the first thing i could get is that vanilla smoky vanilla in here but there is actually a rose now i'm getting the rose in there already so it's quite unique in my collection so i would say one of my favorite rosy scent because i don't i was not able to include this one my favorite rosy scent because that time i cannot detect the rose but right now yes it has and one of my i would say unique it's rosy it's smoky and it has a vanilla scent in there especially when it gets into your skin it becomes a delicious sweet vanilla scent. it's giving me that same vibe of the um tom ford's noir parfum um, perfume so this becomes my new favorite winter scent actually more of fall winter scent to me and also the bottle so i have to show you once again the bottle it's really nice i like that one that gradient that shiny black and here is like glitters in there it's really gorgeous so that was it for my five of five um fragrances for life or the fragrances that or if i'm going to ask myself if i'm only going to have five fragrances in my collection that i could keep then these are these so that's it for now and thank you again for watching and see you again next time on my next video